Okay, so I'll start today's luxury webinar. Um, I'll have to just excuse Zara for a moment. She's um, just having technical problems, but she'll be coming on and joining us very, very soon. So I'm going to let everybody else introduce themselves. So Claire, hello, welcome. Not seen you Hi. for a long time. I know. I hope the weather's good where you are, as good as it is in the UK anyway. Um, I <laughs> play, obviously, um, from Heritage, oh, obviously, I'm from Heritage and Veranda Resorts Mauritius, hence why I'm asking Sarah what the weather's like. Um, and I'm here today to talk about Heritage uh, Resorts, which is down in the south of Mauritius. So welcome, everybody. Super. Thank you very much, Claire. Um, we've also got the lovely Adele. Adele, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Adele. My family own and run the Calabash Hotel in Grenada in the Caribbean. So excited to share with you. Super amazing. Adele, over to you. Great. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to share my screen. All right. Hopefully you can see all that all clearly. Yeah. Good. Okay, folks, perfect. Right. As I just sort of mentioned for anybody else who just jumped in, um, my name is Adele. Um, my family own and run the Calabash Hotel in Grenada. We are a Relian Chateau property, the only one in Grenada. Um, only 30 suites, so we're a small property, very boutique feel um, about us, but I'll explain lots and lots, and hopefully you'll feel very familiar with property in a, in a second. So for those who don't know where Grenada is, because I know Grenada is, even though it's getting more popular, it is one of the lesser known Caribbean destinations. So we are in the very south of the Caribbean. Um, uh, so I've just circled it right down here. Um, being so far south is a really good position because it means that we are outside of the hurricane belt. So actually, as I logged on today, Sarah asked me how this, if we were affected by the storm. And I said to her, I don't know what storm you're talking about, <laughs> basically. And that's usually the answer for us. We don't keep a track of the storms. We have no idea because they they literally just go above us. Um, and um, so weather seems to be pretty fine here. Um, so we're a good year, year round destination because of that. The airlift, the all important airlift um, to Grenada is we've got three flights a week from the UK, uh, Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday from British Airways, sorry, and Virgin twice a week, which is when uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, from the US, we have got a bit more airlift. So we've got daily flights with JetBlue. Um, in October, there will be a weekly flight, flight starting from Boston, and then we've also got daily flights with American Airlines and a weekly uh, from Miami and a weekly flight from Charlotte. This is just a little uh, map of Grenada just here. So Grenada is a small Caribbean island, very similar in size to St. Lucia or Barbados. So we are 21 miles long and 12 miles wide. Uh, um, the most the thing about Grenada that I find really, really nice is that it seems to be very organically set up for, for um, tourism. The airport, uh, the main town are all, all sort of concentrated in this bottom area here. Hopefully you can see my, my cursor. Um, all the hotels, restaurants are all down in this area. Uh, and in the middle of the uh, is of the rain of the island is the rainforest um, with sort of towns and villages around the outside. Um, this, this means that airport transfers to most hotels, including Calabash, are 10 minutes. <clears throat> right, so just a little bit about the property. Um, we are set on eight acres beachfront property. So we're on beautiful white sand beach. We've got 30 suites and three restaurants, which is quite a lot of restaurants for only 30 suites. Um, uh, on property, so three restaurants, three three bars. We've got a spa, twenty four hour fit, fitness room. We do lots of weekly in house activities. Uh, we have a full dive and water sports center on our beach as well. We've got floodlit tennis courts and a boutique. So we do have lots of guests who come for fourteen nights and actually don't leave. But we always do encourage people, and I'll tell you about the activities on Grenada. We do encourage people to get out and see the island. So who is our client? Our honey, our client is typically honeymooners, couples. Because we have three restaurants and food and beverage is so important to what we do, people who love good food um, and we do welcome families. But we, because we don't have a kids club, we suggest that um, they are slightly older children, sort of in the range of like eight to ten, where they can tend where they can sort of look after them themselves a little bit. It's a very, very safe hotel, safe pool, safe um, beach for swimming. So um, sort of kids of that age can um, 
uh, sort of be around the, ho the hotel and not and, and, and not too much burden on their parents. This is the layout of the property. So the hotel is on eight acres up on our, and we also have these 19 acres on the side here, which is where our villas are. The main, all the main facilities are in this area with the hotel suites. The suites are in a semicircle shape facing out to the beach. So everyone's got the same great view. And then up on the hillside, we have got five, uh, five villas. So our suites is where we, where we really focus a lot of our, our attention. We are currently, we've just upgraded two, we, last year we upgraded two of our suites, which is our, which is our penthouse suite. So these are just a couple of photos of it. Um, and then we've also recently, in the, in the process of upgrading 13 other suites um, at the moment. So we'll have, they'll be ready for October when we reopen the hotel. We close the hotel every year, August and September, upgrade upgrade it and then reopen again in, um, in October. So a lot of time and investment goes back into the hotel every single year. So it keeps it looking nice and fresh. So these are the rooms that we recently upgraded. Um, and I'm going to show you a video of our penthouse suites, which just shows you the space of the of the suite much better than I can do in words. And we've got a video for every single room category, which is all on our website. So they're really handy for sales. stop rather abruptly <laughs> go past that um so as i mentioned food and beverage is um super important to what we do and because of it we sort of have three we have three restaurants on on property um starting at the beginning of the day we have a couple of options to have breakfast one of which is to have breakfast in suite there's no extra charge for this it's just one of the ways that we've always served breakfast at the hotel so you um breakfast is served to you on the balcony of your suite you don't have to get dressed and go to a restaurant, which is a really lovely way to start the day. But an equally lovely way to start the day is to have breakfast on the beach. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a very lovely, calm, white sand beach. So it's really, really a nice, uh, a, a nice way, another nice way to start the day. Um, so this is our beach club restaurant. We serve lunch, we serve breakfast here. The um, lunch, yeah, lunch and breakfast is more casual restaurant. Then we've got Rhodes Restaurant, which is our fine dining restaurant um it is uh we typically very busy for um dinner um and roads attracts a lot of attention and so because of that we did actually open our third restaurant up at our, our main pool area and this is a latin japanese style menu so sort of a very similar con menu concept to nobu um and it's more of a casual dinner option so you, every night you have the option between roads um and izakaya um right so part of our facilities are lovely white sand beach. This is what people come to the Caribbean for, to sit on the beach, um, sometimes for 14, sometimes for 21 nights. Um, we do have a main pool overlooking the property. So it's a lovely white lap pool overlooking the property. We have a spa on site as well. So we use Elemis products on, on site. And we've also got a, a selection of um, uh, treatments called Zero Spa Miles, where we use products from the island um uh as part of the the treatment so it's a very wholesome experience we have a couple of flood flood lit kept tennis courts we do lots of in-house activities so we do um cookery demonstrations we do we do have a couple of yoga sessions uh twice a week we do uh chocolate and rum tasting wine tasting lots of um sort of educational things sorry i'm gonna cough so just, just cough quickly <laughs> and um all right never mind actually hold on a second sorry about that um diving is fantastic in Grenada it's it's one of the um the best places in the Caribbean to dive so um we have got a dive site a dive shop on site so you can dive from from the hotel which is really nice because you know sometimes uh it's it's just only one partner who's diving so what they can go off and dive be back in a couple of hours in time for lunch which is um really nice it doesn't upset the other person who doesn't want their partner gone for all day uh, we also do private beach dinners and private pic and private um, beach picnics as well. So really nice experiences. We've got boutique on on site as well. So we've got lots of um, clothes from all over the world. So you can get your shopping here done here. 
Grenada as a destination is really, really a fantastic destination. Um, it's one of the few countries that has <coughs> great beaches, but also um, a great rainforest product as well. So you have got the best of both worlds, um, I think, from that point of view. So you could sit on the beach all day and then within, within half an hour, 40 minutes, you could be at a waterfall or, you know, hiking through the rainforest. So it's a really nice um really great uh, place from that point of view. What's also really nice about Grenada, and I think a really important feature, is that it's so safe here. Um, people are very welcoming, it's a very friendly island, and it's an incredibly safe place. There's lots of um, history and culture deep rooted in agriculture, so we are known as the Island of, Isle of Spice, so lots of tours and plantation um, uh, visits that you can do. We also are very well known for chocolate, so you can see the entire process from the the tree to the to the uh, to the bean the cocoa beans and um the the entire processing to, to the chocolate bar we've got six or seven chocolate um factories on island so it's it's an important part of what we uh, what we do here in grenada and everybody loves chocolate lovely sailing around grenada so um we do have people um lots of guests who come we are at the very south of the caribbean of the grenadine island so we have people fly in spend a few nights with us and then uh, rent a yacht and sail in the Grenadine Islands. The Grenadines are just fantastic islands um, and a lovely way to spend a holiday. Technology is coming to to, to us. <laughs> We've got our own app and, and this app is really good because it's really it's connected to our entire backend system. So you can log in. Once you have a booking, you can log in, book a uh, restaurant, spa, etc. <laughs> restaurants and spa um, and you can have a look at different excursions um, it's all available on the app so that that we do have a concierge team which we're very happy to do it for you but as a travel agent or even from the guest point of view you can just cut out the back and the back and forth with the emails and just book it all easy peasy book and cancel <clears throat> we have a couple of special offers which I wanted to highlight to you um, although uh, space is a little bit limited now for October November and December we do have a special offer uh, where you will uh, get a, a complimentary room upgrade plus $200 uh, dollars, uh, resort credit. But what I also just wanted to make to, to mention, which is important, even though the space is limited and maybe you might not see any anything available online, um, email or call our reservations team. We will move bookings around so that we can accommodate, accommodate you. So we can probably fit you in, basically. Um, it, it, and if we can, we certainly will. So just just remember that. Um, over the winter, we have a special offer. We normally never do offers over the winter, but we just thought we'd give this a try to see if we can really elevate our, our occupancy. Um, and it's a really good offer, I think. So you book a minimum of four nights and you get $400 worth of resort credit. If you buy, if you book seven nights, you get $700, 10 nights, $1,000. So the amount increases as, as many as nights as a book. And that's available from the 3rd to the 17th of January of January, and also the 9th to the 23rd of March. Oh, and that's it, that's me. <laughs> thank you very much, everybody. Super, thank you very much, Adele. I think we're all loving your hotel. There is a couple of questions that have come through in chat. Um, I've just asked sure. everybody to put them into the Q&A, but one of them is about the um, tour operators for the UK. So I, I think you, you, you're you pretty well covered, aren't you, through oh my most goodness. of that I think that we contract with absolutely everybody. Um, yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm sure that there's nobody that we don't that we don't contract with. We have so many of them. Um, but yeah, you, you can book through us through in nearly any, any UK tour operator. Super. Any further questions you've got for Adele, please pop them into the Q&A and we're going to leave sunny Grenada now and we're going to head, head over to Mauritius. So I'm going to hand over to Claire. Claire, you're muted as well, so you need to unmute. Sorry, that was me. Hello, you... no, that's fine. I wouldn't, I didn't talk anyway. So let me just share my screen. So hopefully you can all see that. So welcome and thank you for your time today. Um, as I said, my name is Claire. I'm from the Heritage Resorts in Mauritius. So we, uh, um, I'm going to talk to you about the resort kind of as a whole a little bit, as well as focus on the key kind of hotel within that, which is um, Heritage Hotel Fair. So we are located down in the south of Mauritius on the uh, domain of Belom. So we have 
2,500 hectares to play with. So we have a lot of space, but our hotels aren't that massive. So Heritage Hotel Fair has around 158 rooms. And then next door, we have Heritage Awali at 160 rooms. So to give you kind of a, a picture of where we are, as you're looking at the map, you can see down the front, we've got on the beach, our Sea Beach Club. Next door to that with the blue roofs, that's Heritage Latell Fair. And then as you keep going along the beach, the brown buildings there are Heritage Awali. We then have our Seashell Museum and our Chateau for, set further back. We have Heritage Golf Course, which is an 18 hole championship golf course. We have our villas, which are dotted around the golf course. Um, we then have our new golf course, La Reserve, which I'll go through the opening dates, ignore what it says on there. Um, and then we have our nature reserve, Bellum Nature Reserve. Um, and then part of it is also uh, Charamel Seven Club d'Earth and Le Charamel Restaurant. Um, they run independently, but you obviously can go up and see them while you're staying with us. So where to stay? As I've already mentioned, we have three different options. We have Heritage Latel Fair, which is our five star deluxe property. It's a small luxury hotel of the world. Next door, we have Heritage Awali, which is our five star all inclusive. And then we have our villas, which also are up to the five star standard or they wouldn't be in our portfolio. So Heritage of Telfair is named after a famous Irish naturalist called Charles Telfair, who came out to the island, who settled. Um, he sent back drawings and pictures, and you can still see some of his work actually in Kew Gardens, if you ever go along there in London. Uh, we are an all suite, all butler service um, hotel. So we start, our leading category is the Le Deluxe Garden View, and we go right up to our ocean beachfront suite. All our suites either face the gardens or are sea facing and every suite apart from the junior suite can fit two adults and two children under the age of 12. And the reason that we say the junior suite doesn't is it's a little bit more romantic. Um, as you walk in, you're greeted with a four poster bed in the middle of the room and then you have like a little turret area or I like to think of it as a turret where you have a couple of chairs and um, kind of a footstool. And then as you go into the bathroom, that's where you'll find this open um, the roll top bath uh, where you can obviously you know, look out the window and you've got a shower and, and separate things and there's just there's room to stick up uh, to put a cot in there but there isn't really room to put um, any spare beds which is kind of why it doesn't really suit the, um, any children. We have many interleading rooms which I'm sure most of you already know mean that you have the two front doors that go into a small entrance in a way that have the um, main front door uh, that they can lock and close so if they want interleading rooms they are available um, they're on request but obviously if you're desperate for one please let us know we will always do our best to meet any requests that we can. Now, what we have introduced, which was new for this year and will obviously follow into next year, is that once you get to a certain level of suite, so you get to a junior suite, we start throwing in some additional extras for your guests. So if they're staying in a junior suite, they get all their laundry and their ironing done, which to me sounds absolutely fabulous. You go out with a dirty suitcase, you hand it over and it comes back all washed and ironed for you. If you're in a senior suite, we obviously offer the same, but we do also include both ways um, private airport transfers. We have our own Range Rover discoveries that you'll see um, that are branded that will meet them at the airport. And then if they're in the ocean beachfront, which is our top category, not only do they get the, do they get the laundry, they get the transfers, they get a guaranteed early check-in and late checkout, private dining, they get a private day bed and a few other amenities. So it's always worth letting your, your customers know, obviously, if they want to upgrade um, just that little bit further, they can get some extra kind of uh, amenities thrown in for them. Now, across the domain, we have um, 12 restaurants that they can choose from. So there's a lot. There's, there's the ones that are actually in Telfair. They can then also dine at Awali and they can dine um, at the Chateau and the Golf Club. So we offer a few a different kind of packages. So you can come in on bed and breakfast and obviously just pay as you go around the resort you can come in on half board which means you can dine obviously within um the tail fair but if you take advantage of our gourmet bliss um that is our all-inclusive product so you have the 12 restaurants and eight bars you can choose from you have unlimited champagne you have unlimited green fees including the golf cart at our le chateau course and a complimentary round at la reserve our new golf links as well as tickets to the world of seashells and also Sharon Mouse 
seven coloured earth. And there are some other amenities obviously thrown in and some other extras, but that kind of gives you the highlights of what we have. I'm not going to go too much into a Wali because this is obviously not really part of the luxury, but this is where they'll also get to dine at a Wali. So they can, um, if they're on Gourmet Bliss, they can dine at um, Infinity Blue. Um, they can dine at Cassini or Safrani, which is our adult only restaurant. We obviously, they have a lot of choice between them. And then we move on to the villas. So we do two, three or four bedroom villas, which are um, the five star product all come with their own infinity pool um, and then to go on to golf so if you've got any golfers that are coming out we have what we like to think well it was voted eight times for the past eight years the best course, golf course in the Indian Ocean that's our uh, Le Chateau course you have free access and unlimited green fees we, we can hire out equipment if they wish you have to have quite a high handicap here so it's 54 so it is open to all kind of abilities of golf and you can do a golf initiation it's one way that I found out that golf is not my sport unfortunately I did have a go at the golf initiation but I think I hit more dirt than I did um, balls we then move on to La Reserve so La Reserve um, Sarah was asking me earlier when this is actually officially opening so La Reserve is going to be um, the first link style golf course where you start at the top of the mountain and you play down towards the ocean. Uh, it's absolutely stunning. I've been up to the first tee and you see things like wild deer running in the nature reserve behind you and things. So from the 1st of September, so from last Friday, any guests that are staying at Awali or at La Fair um on premium all inclusive or gourmet blitz and have the one round included they're now able to play our course from the 1st of december that is the official opening when the clubhouse will be open and as far as i'm aware we're all on track for the 1st of december and from that date um, obviously the guests that are on premium all inclusive or gourmet bliss will be able to play the course still they'll have a round included anybody else that's staying at the hotel will be able to pay to play so we have rates where they can um, obviously have one round, two rounds, three rounds, however many they want. But we are hosting the Afro Asia Bank Mauritius Open. Um, so the course will be closed from the 6th to the 18th of December. Um, but obviously, if you have any golfers come out, they can still play Le Chateau and they'll be able to watch this championship golf um, happening next door. So hopefully that's as clear as mud and you all know exactly when it's opening. Um, so as I say, it's designed by, um, if anyone's a golfer, it's designed by a champion, uh, Louis Oostenhuizen, who's a major champion. It's right in within the nature reserve. So you have these stunning views and you'll see some videos out there and things from our pro master LCM. Um, and it is absolutely beautiful. The one of the restaurants that you can dine at if you're on Gourmet Bliss at La Fair and you can go here every night or just once, it's totally up to you, is Le Chateau Bellon. So this is obviously, the Chateau is our fine dining restaurant and it has a garden that's laid out at the front of it, a bit like the Garden of Us Versailles. That's kind of what we were aiming for. And then on the top of the restaurant, we actually have a suite. So that suite can be um, booked and for one night and you can have dinner at the chateau, go to your suite upstairs and then have breakfast served on the balcony. If you're staying at the Fair already, you obviously can leave all your stuff in your room and then you'll just come up for the one night and pack what you need. It's just if someone's celebrating or, you know, they want to propose or they're being romantic, then obviously they can book out the entire chateau. The place to see, the place to be is kind of our funky beach vibes, um, Ibiza kind of music, background music. It's got the day beds, it's got a beautiful pool. And this is where all our water sports are. So kite globing, stand up paddle boarding, kayaking. You'll do that all that from Sea Beach Club. Has a beautiful bar where you can try all different flavoured gins um, and it's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And this is where we hold our festive programme. So we fly in international DJs from Paris and things like that and they will play here. So obviously it's a beautiful setting. Um, especially to celebrate the new year. We have our spa, which is all focused on the seven chakras. So this is a, a beautiful, stunning place where you can go and really relax. So if the husband wants to go and play golf, obviously his wife can enjoy the spa 
spa or vice versa the wife can go and play golf and the husband can enjoy the spa um it's totally up to them and we also have couples massages and couples um treatment rooms so and it's all based a bit like calabash on kind of the local nature and flora and fauna and they have a beautiful like detox drink of ginger and lemongrass and things Kids Club. So we do have a kids club. We have um, the Timona Kids Club, which is open from 8.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. So we will look after your children all day. If you want to go to the adult only restaurant, we'll also feed them in the evening. Uh, we then have our teen club from 12 to 17. And again, we plan all different activities. Um, and like last year on Christmas Day, uh, Father Christmas turned up and gave up presents. Um, but one of our USPs is we actually have a baby club and that is complimentary. So our baby club is open from naught to 35 months. It's run by qualified nannies. And I apologize if you can hear my dog now. It's run by qualified nannies. You have to book in 24 hours before. Um, but as I say, it's completely complimentary. So obviously your babies will be looked after if you want to go in the spa or just have a snooze or anything like that. Then uh, it really is a beautiful opportunity. Within the domain, we have many other things that you can do. So we have waterfalls, you can go quad biking, we have the safari buggies, we can do a picnic for you. You've obviously got the seashell museums. Uh, Le Charmel restaurant is the highest restaurant in Mauritius and it has a beautiful panoramic view of Le Morne. So we can do, arrange a transfer and obviously bookings for that for you. We, as part of um, Heritage of Randa actually owned by Rogers Hospitality and as part of that we also uh, Rogers Hospitality also own all the catamarans on the island so we can arrange a catamaran day trip where you'll have a bar and a barbecue and you go swimming and scuba dive uh, not scuba sorry, snorkeling sorry and obviously the Sharamel Seven Coloured Earth. We understand sustainability moving forward is becoming um, a kind of a, a conscious thought of people that are traveling. So we have five key pillars, um, carbon neutral stays all for all of our guests staying at Heritage. Um, and then obviously there's some other pillars there that you can see. And then I hopefully this will work and I will be able to show you a quick video. I don't know that I pressed the sound button. Bear with me for a second. Oh. It automatically saves Claire when you. When we oh, do it does. Do. Okay, sorry. And hopefully. heritage for telfair and obviously if you have any questions or i can ever help you with anything then sarah has my details so please get in touch super thank you very much claire loving my little favorite hotels so um <laughs> any questions you've got for claire please pop them into the q a and uh i'm looking forward to my uh new year's eve invite to go and see all those yeah. celebrities <laughs> I'll be joining you if I can. Okay. <laughs> We've got a spare bedroom. Okay, thank you. So if you can stop sharing, I'm going to introduce Zara and hope and pray that her computer is working. Zara, are you there? I think Hi. not. Yes, I am. Is, I'm back is, on. is everything working? Yes, it is. And I'm just going to load the video to begin with. Brilliant. And don't forget when you press your share uh, screen to tick the box to share sound if there is some. So just tell us, first of all, Zara, um, who you are, where you're from, um, yes. just so that we've got an intro. 
Perfect. Hi, everyone. Uh, good morning and good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. So I'm based at the Carlton Tower Jumeirah in London, and it's a very exciting hotel because we went through a huge refurbishment 18 months ago. So everything is near enough brand new, which is amazing for us. So I'm delighted to present our wonderful hotel for you. So I'm just going to load the video um, and I hope that you can hear the sound if you could just let me know. And if you can see it on a large screen, I'm just going to double click. Any sound coming through? Can you see the oh, yeah. screen? Yeah. Yes? Yep, okay, all good. Super. I'm going to make sure. Okay, um, so I hope I captivated your your senses and your um, excitement. So we are located in Knightsbridge, um, the fashion destination um, of London. So literally just off of Sloan Street. I'm just going to make sure now I share a new share so I can pull up my presentation. If it's going to open, I have too many screens open here. So you can't see anything right now, is that right? Just the video page, the media player. So um, okay, I think we need so to stop sharing, stop sharing and then go back and select your desktop probably is your easiest bet. Yes, perfect. Okay, super. So I'm going to open that up here. Fantastic. Let me just make that a full screen. Zoom. Do yeah. anything? No, it's not. The Zoom screen has disappeared now, so I can't reshare. So I've got the presentation open. This is so annoying. Um, okay, here we go, found it now. Okay, share screen. Perfect. Voila, there we are. Let's make sure we flip the screen. Perfect. Okay, here we go. So we're located in Knightsbridge, just around the corner from Sloan Street, the fashion street. So all the designer stores are located there. We're also 10 minutes away from Mayfair and also a five to six minute walk from Hyde Park. And we're also a six minute walk from Kings Road, another beautiful shopping destination where they, we have an array of different boutique stores, which is absolutely amazing. And we're also a five minute walk from Harrods, the famous department store. So really located in the center, which is really nice, but it's not extremely busy. And we're also very close to Kensington. So you've got the Royal Albert Hall, all the natural history, the Natural History Museum, Victorian Albert. We're also very close to the Saatchi Gallery, which is in Chelsea. And we're very close to many of, of the, the best hospitals if you are coming here for medical treatment or cosmetic. So that's really amazing for us. So we've got Chelsea on Westminster, the Royal Hospital, Chelsea, Royal Marsden, um, if you want to go to um, the Royal Albert Hall, as I mentioned, for different performances. So we're in a really amazing location should you come here for business or leisure. 
So we were the first tower to be built in London. So we've been here since 1961. There's 18 levels. We have 186 bedrooms and 88 suites. So you get a, an amazing view. Normally you would only get amazing views if you stay in the city of London, but we're so delighted to have a, a, a beautiful skyline of all the amazing landmarks in London. We also have the privilege of being located on this incredible square, which is Cadogan Gardens. Normally you only get access to these gardens when you live on a square. So all the residents have access, but because we work very closely with the Cadogan estate, we have access. So our concierge team holds the keys and you're allowed to get access when you're a guest here of the hotel. You can also enjoy having a picnic or a private sort of event. And we also have tennis courts in the gardens. So that can also be arranged so that you can enjoy playing tennis. We are also a dog friendly hotel. So you can bring your little puppy with you and that's really something special because again it's really hard um, to to have pets in London come into hotels unless you're going out to the countryside. This is our beautiful lobby so as mentioned we did the refurbishment during Covid which was a coincidence which was amazing. We spent 120 million with British interior designer 1508. They've done a lot of residential projects, yachts, they did the raffles, Four Seasons, so they've done a lot of amazing projects globally. So we're very proud to have worked with them for our hotel. So we have the Chinoiserie, which is our casual dining outlet where you can enjoy breakfast, lunch and dinner. We have an array of different um, types of food from our signature biryani dish for our, from seafood dishes to, to amazing different salads, mezes. So it's a really nice experience, less formal. And we have our beautiful afternoon tea room, which is a beautiful space and we're very proud to have won the best contemporary afternoon tea a couple of months ago and we were working with Jessica Pilpalto who won best pastry chef in 2020 and she designed the menu for us and trained all the team to create such a beautiful afternoon tea which was in collaboration and in and also very much inspired around the botanical Kew Gardens. So our afternoon tea is designed to be more healthy and it ultimately still tastes really nice. So we have the, the privilege to have sweet and savory dishes that are served to a Michelin star level, which is really, really beautiful because it's very uh, competitive in London and we're so delighted to have won this award. So you can actually pair it with some of our teas. So we have the largest tea menu in London. We serve the brand Mariage Ferres. We have over 26 different teas that you can have or you can pair it with champagne and the champagne we use is Renan. So a really nice champagne, um, French champagne that we have um, a partnership with. And you can also privatize the afternoon tea room for private events. So moving on to our rooms, as you can see, we have a balcony. This is our balcony room suite, which is really incredible because it's not a Juliet balcony, as you tend to see a lot in London, where you can just actually look out, not actually open the door. So we have sliding doors that are triple glazed and you can actually enjoy having your breakfast coffee on the balcony with views of the gardens, which is very rare in London. I think this is such a, a USP for us because, again, since COVID, a lot of people do enjoy to have fresh air. If you do smoke, you can enjoy smoking on the balcony as well. But it's really nice just to be outside and enjoy that view. So you can either have the garden view or we do have some of our rooms that also include partial city view. And all the rooms are bespoke design by 1508. As you can see, it's a very light color palette, very neutral, very high end. This is a different layout. So this is our luxury suite. 
where you have an open plan layout, again, still with a balcony, also has a dressing room and a bathtub, as well as a walk-in shower. Our sofas have sofa beds, but again, as you can see the views, it's just super iconic and breathtaking to have such a view in the West End. This is a different layout. This is our executive suites, different layout. So you can actually close off the, the bedroom. So if you were to host a meeting in the room, that's great. And then you don't have to go through the bedroom to use the bathroom because this room also has a guest bathroom. So this works very well for families or even if you're a business traveler. This is our royal suite. And what's really nice is that the quality is consistent throughout and the interiors are the same and the amenities, even in our lowest category being the superior or the deluxe. So even if you're staying in, in a superior room or in, our, in one of our best suites, it's marble throughout in the bathrooms and it has the same interiors. You still get your Dyson hair dryer, which is amazing, I think, because normally you would only get those when you stay in a suite. But actually, when you stay in a superior or a deluxe, you also get to experience the same feeling. So all our bathrooms are, are, are marble designs, same color palette. And, we, and we've sourced the marble from Carrera in Italy. So really, really beautiful. This is the dining room in our royal suite. So we can host different experiences, whether it's a birthday, anniversary, or a executive dinner just to have a different ambiance where you've got the views of London, you can see Battersea Power Station. Moving on to Al Mare, our fine dining outlet. This is the bar. And here we have the interactive chef dining experience where you can see the chefs cooking. We have a homemade pasta machine where we make homemade pasta that we serve on our menu. And this is the private dining room, which is beautifully designed to be like your dining room, essentially, but with the, the, um, the, the surprise of looking through to the kitchen so you can see the chefs, which is very unique. And this can hold up to 14 guests and we can customize this as well for private dinners and events. So this is my favorite part of the hotel. It's the peak, and this is located on the ninth floor. So we have a gym that is on the 10th floor. And when you stay at the hotel, you get access to the peak where you can enjoy a healthy breakfast or lunch. You can also enjoy working up here. So it's a beautiful co-working space, but we don't allow any loud meetings or calls to take place. It's a very calming space to be in during your day and you can enjoy the the views of London and you can also have the privilege of joining our gym and spa as a member and you also in, get the privilege of of being in this exclusive area of the hotel so this is our beautiful gym that has the state-of-the-art appliances by Techno Gym. We also have this incredible machine called the body analysis machine. It can be quite scary, but it measures your water, your muscle mass, so many things. <laughs> so it's a really great way to measure your fitness levels. And you can also enjoy running or cycling with an incredible view because most of the spas and the gyms in London are located in the basement with no view. This is our beautiful holistic well-being studio where we host 60 classes per week from HIIT workouts, Pilates, yoga, breath work, you name it. And this is also a stunning, calming area. Our beautiful pool is also lit with natural light located on the second floor, 20 meters in length, has a jacuzzi, steam room and sauna, and you can actually swim here and not just sit around, which is amazing. So if you're into wellness and you're coming to London for leisure or business, it's such a, a great space to hide in our hotel. So you can either be on the second floor, ninth floor, 10th floor, and have a wonderful time. 
As mentioned earlier, we have access to the private Cadogan Gardens, which is located opposite the hotel where you've got the tennis courts, which I think is just amazing. Even though we're literally 10 minute, well, seven minutes walk to High Park, literally to the end of Sloan Street, you can also just hop across the road and play tennis at your own leisure. Here are some of our meeting spaces. Again, we have beautiful views of the gardens. So our event spaces are located, located on the first floor. So we've got the birch, the maple and the ballroom where again, all natural light coming through. So again, you can enjoy having meetings with views, which again is another USP for us, because normally other hotels don't have rooms with views. So you really feel that you are in a, in a forest, I would say. Moving on to sustainability, we're really focusing on this heavily throughout the hotel. So encouraging guests to not have their linens changed daily, but of course, if they want that, they can, or you can leave your, a, a little plaque that says, please don't change the linens. So you could have that every two days or every three days, depending on your, your choice. We also are not using plastic bottles anymore. It's all cardboard. We also have leather key cards that we're starting to use for our VIP guests and regular guests instead of plastic check-in room cards, which is amazing. And we also personalize that with your initials, which is a very nice touch. And just moving on to our, oops, sorry. Just move this. So our special offer we're running from Sunday, um, which was last week, um, we are doing a stay for pay three offer. And this is inclusive of breakfast. You get complimentary access to the Peak Fitness Club and Spa. And it's available for stays from the 12th of September to the 31st of March next year but I can definitely share all of this information um, with you all. You also get 15% off of F&B. So this is incredible and it's available on different platforms, social media, as well as Expedia and on our website. And that's it from me, but we are the hotel that is renowned um, as the fashion destination in London, but as well as being super close to the centre, uh, being whether it's Mayfair or even the city, we have great transport links so that you can get to wherever you need to in London. Thank you very much. I welcome any questions you may have. Thank you, Zara. We Thank have you. got um, questions. Uh, I'm just waiting for the rest of the questions for you to come in. So if you've got any questions for Zara, uh, please let us know. Um, a question for all of you. So uh, this is for Adele, Claire and Zara. Um, do any of you have any travel agent staff rates? This is from Dean. So Zara, you can go first. Yes, no, we don't have at the moment, um, but I can find out for you if we are going to be implementing anything. Okay, super. Claire? Yes, we do. We obviously have blackout periods, but we offer 40% um, on Telfair or Heritage Resorts off uh, our bar rate so if you drop me an email I can get a cost for you because I can never work it out <laughs> I'm honest <laughs> <laughs> super thank you very much and Adele yes uh we do we um offer uh our rate starts for travel agent starts from 350 US dollars per night but it's only available in June July and first to the 15th of October Okay, super. Thank you very much. Um, Claire, you've got another question. I think you must have been. It's about um, yeah. It's about the weather. About I the thought. Weather. Uh, <laughs> well, how would you say the weather was in January in Mauritius? It does rain, uh, but it tends yeah. To I mean, it it can be absolutely glorious. We don't receive any rain apart from you'll maybe have five minutes or ten minutes. It can also be if we've got a cyclone or cyclonic activity this is where we get the rain so it's kind of one of those things that what we can guarantee is it'll be hot it'll be humid the sea is warm everything else we can't guarantee because it is cyclone season it is ultimately classed as rainy season but some Januarys are rainier than others um so it's, I've been out in January hard. and I've had a week of perfect weather and I've been yeah. out in other times and I've had a 
a, we've had a touch of a cyclone kind of the edge of yeah. it kind of thing so it really is just hit and miss to be honest it, like yeah it's not going to rain all day every day for like the month um but we might get like four or four days or so that we've got this if we've got a cyclone or cyclonic activity um we've got the cloud we've got the rain that comes with it and it can last a few hours um we can also have it that it rains during the night time for an, for 10 minutes um so yeah it's really 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 hard it dries to, up really quick yeah. though I must yeah. admit like, when you come out of your room if you if it's rained overnight you'd never know yeah no exactly but yeah hot humid and beautiful sea <laughs> everything else we can't guarantee that rhymes I'm good eh <laughs> you have to pattern that <laughs> oh, I know I know um yeah and just to let you know as well January February for Mauritius are the uh, peak seasons so it's it's um the time of year that all of our all of the repeaters come across to the island um and the hotels are solidly booked week in week out so um lots and lots of people come at uh, that time of year um okay any other questions just let me check no I think Adele I think you've answered your questions okay right so we're going to go to the part of the day now where we test you so Zara I forgot to ask to ask you to think of a question so you've got time at the moment um, I'm going to let Adele and Claire go first so just as a reminder everybody on the webinar that's attending gets one prize draw entry if you answer this question the fastest finger first with a correct answer you will get 10 entries into the spin to win so tomorrow morning I'll put all the names in um, and we'll let the computer pick the winners and I'll let you know tomorrow when I do the follow-up so Adele what is your question, please? Uh, this is it's a two-part question, so I've got to get the both Extra parts time. right. <laughs> Making it tricky. How many suites and how many restaurants do we have? How many suites and how many restaurants? It wasn't that tricky. <laughs> Pre yeah, pretty um, pretty straightforward. Yeah, well done. Ari has said thirteen. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. Yeah. Yeah, and for such a small hotel, I think this is where we remember it because to have the amount of restaurants you do for the amount of rooms, it's yeah. phenomenal. So, yay, well done you. <laughs> Super. Um, Claire? What is the name of the all-inclusive product at Heritage? Oh, look, I didn't even get to finish the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what she was going to say was, what is the name of the all-inclusive package at Heritage Hotel? Hotel yeah. <laughs> uh, so Sarah, before we'd even mentioned anything, Sarah Crow, Gourmet Bliss, that is the answer. You are correct. So, Zara. Um, how large is our pool? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Some, some, some answers, correct, coming through. Oh. Okay, first one is 20 metres. Is that correct? That is correct. Perfect. So Cheryl, you are the fastest finger first. So Uri, Sarah and Cheryl, you'll all be entered 10 times into the spin to win. Um, a big thank you to everybody for joining us. I know it's busy out there at the moment, but I hope you're learning a lot. And um, especially these hotels are absolutely amazing. So um Keep sending bookings, keep logging bookings. If you need any more help, any of the team are available to answer questions for you or help you any way they can. They're completely trade friendly. So um, that's always really good to hear when you are booking for your clients. Um, Adele, Claire and Zara, thank you. We love you. Um, your presentations were amazing. So thank you very, very much for coming on today. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, everybody. Have a good Thank weekend. Bye. Sarah, I wanted to ask you, do you have some time just to have a quick discussion just so I can give you the information? Yeah, but can I, I'll call you in a minute. Super. Amazing. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.